All right, first step of recording is to record and to take the sound from your live instrument or your vocals and put it into here, either your XLR cable or your line-in cable, that's where it goes. Next step is it gets amplified by a, well, our preamp, so our preamp is our gain here. Turn it up to get amplified on this board, some boards it's a little different, but uh, for the most part, every part and every time, so you take the mic input or the line input and turn up your gain. Next step usually on boards is the auxiliary sends or your bus channels. Now this right here has two sends, so I can do a mono send one and a mono send two, or you can do one stereo send, which is channel one is channel left, and channel two is channel right. So that is your sends in the chain. So we've got our input of our mic or our line cable down into our preamp, which amplifies the signal, down into our bus signals, which basically we can send to a reverb unit or a delay unit or, well, pretty much anything we would like. After that, usually you have the EQ. We have the high, the mids, and the lows. Now, on some boards you have more knobs for the different bands, but on this one, which is a very basic, basic setup for an EQ, is your highs, your mids, and your lows. So basically, if you have some hiss in your sound, you'll probably want to turn down your highs. If you have this weird sound that's, you'll know it when you hear it, like it's a boxy bad sound, you will, you will want to cut down your mids a bit. And if you have some too much low end rumble, or maybe some muddiness as well, you'd want to turn down your lows as well. So we got our input, mic, line in, our preamp, turn up the gain so we can actually hear the input coming into it. Our sends that we can send to a reverb unit or a delay or anything we want, that's why they're called sends. We bust them out to wherever you want to go to. You got your EQ, your highs, your mids, and your lows. And then you got your pan pod. Basically, everyone knows what a pan pod is. You go left to take the sound to the left speaker, or you go right to take the sound to the right speaker. And then we go down, we got our mute button. We all know what a mute button is. And we got our pre fader solo. Basically, what it does, it allows you to listen to the signal at the point before the actual channel fader itself. So this is a good way to uh, test your sound and hear how it sounds before it actually reaches the final mix or the output stage of your board. And we have over here is our channel fader. So basically when this is down and our gain is up, we won't hear our signal. But when our gain is up and our channel fader is up, we will hear it as well. So to recap, we got our input, microphone in or line in. If you have a condenser microphone, usually you will need a phantom power phantom power to power the actual microphone so we actually hear the microphone in the source that's coming into it. We've got our preamp which is our gain, we turn it up. We've got our auxiliary sends which is our buses, either on this board we have two mono sends or one stereo. We got our EQ, the high, mids and low. We got our pant pod, our mute button, our pre-fader solo button and our channel fader. Now that is all you need to know when you see a board, when you walk into a studio or anywhere. That is the basics, basic of basically what a board is and what a recording console looks like because once you know one channel you know every single channel there is to know this is the same this is the same this is the same so just think of it as that once you learn one you learn it all and from here from our channel fader it goes to our master fader and that's what we hear in our speakers or headphones and that is the basics of a recording board if you guys have any questions you want to ask, feel free to ask. I'm Adam from I'm Music Mogul. Check out the website www.imamusicmogul.com. Alright guys, remember to subscribe. Take care. Class is now out of session.